All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Airbus 320 Tech Talk. What do all those buttons do? I am uh, talking to you from uh, Orlando, Florida today. And uh, we are just going to pick up our discussion where we left off last time with the uh, maintenance panel on the upper overhead. So we'll bring up um, the slide here. And, and like I said, we'll, we'll pick up where we left off last time. So we kind of covered the top third uh, area, uh, these two sections of the the maintenance panel here. We just got this uh, this kind of lower portion here, a couple buttons down here to finish up our discussion about. Um, so the first one here on the left, the APU auto extinguishing system. So first of all, what is it? Um, well, the APU, um, if you don't know, it's a, basically a little jet engine uh, in the tail of the aircraft that exists to uh, kind of provide the, the plane uh, with power and air conditioning and a few other functions, you know, while it's on the ground and the main engines, <coughs> excuse me, the main engines aren't running. And uh, also it can be used in the air uh, to kind of back up, um, you know, some of the systems or provide power, um, you know, perhaps in an emergency condition or, or, you know, some sort of abnormal condition that uh, you might need to have. Uh, some extra capability there. So that's uh, APU stands for auxiliary power unit. And um, basically, uh, unlike the engines, the auxiliary power unit has a, an automatic system uh, of extinguishing a fire if there was to be one um, in the, the APU there. And, and kind of the, I think the mentality behind that is, you know, a lot of times you have the, the APU running on the ground um, and you might not have pilots in the flight deck, you know, for uh, any given reason. I mean, maybe you're outside doing a walk around or, or um, you know, the plane is just sitting there. I mean, it happens a lot. It's kind of a common thing. So you basically want to have uh, a system uh, to put out a fire if, if you're not there to uh, do it yourself, like you would be in the case of a main engine fire. It's, it's uh, you know, something that would need to be, you know, physically, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, like fought, you know, uh, you know, for you as the pilots themselves, you'd have to actually push some buttons and do some actions to uh, to get a fire on the main engine. So uh, that's kind of the, the mentality about why it's there. Um, and uh, just to, I pulled a page right out of the manual uh, to kind of show you uh, just this whole listing of reasons that uh, the APU would shut down. So um, you know, once again, I, I won't uh, I won't read them off all to you, but there's just all sorts of you know different. Um, uh, situations where if, you're, if this uh, system detects a fault in any one of these um, these regards here, it's going to shut the APU down. And um, I guess to build on top of uh, you know what I said initially, um, it, it is more than just a fire. You know um, uh, that uh, an, an APU will auto shut down for, but um, that uh, auto extinguishing panel up there has to do with the the condition of the fire specifically. And uh, one thing to uh, call your attention to here is uh, in parentheses it says on the ground only, and that is uh, specifically you know just what it means is that the system will only attempt to put out a fire in the APU um, if it knows the airplane is on the ground. And, and kind of the mentality behind that, um, what I was taught is. Um, you know, you might have a condition where um, if you're airborne and you have a really, you know, dire situation um, happening on board the aircraft and that APU is kind of like your last source of power or your last, um, you know, way of, of trying to get the main engine started again. Um, <clears throat> kind of the mentality there is that uh, even if the thing is on fire, it's still kind of providing you some sort of resource and power and it doesn't want to allow the system to automatically shut it down um, without you... Um, you know, basically commanding that. So that's that's kind of the mentality about him, uh, why that's designed that way, but just kind of a little interesting thing there, like, like we said about, uh, you know, when it's going to uh, put a uh, fire out specifically uh, in the, uh, the APU there. So um, what it would look like uh, if you were to use that button up there, um, and once again, this is not something that we do as line pilots. This is only here for the mechanics to uh, come in and do their tests. This is never... Um, you know, something we're doing during our uh, normal day-to-day uh, -day, uh, course of actions. But basically, um, if you have the APU system on, there's a button on the, uh, the main overhead panel. Um, you, you would basically come up here and you would, you would press this uh, button down. And uh, 10 seconds later, if everything is all normal and, and the uh, auto extinguishing circuits are all functioning properly, um, you're just going to get a little OK here in this window. And uh, the, the reset button right to the right of there, all it does is, um, simply enough, just resets the kind of testing uh, circuitry that this, uh, this little um, you know, button here um, is, is powering. So um, that is all that that uh, APU auto extinguishing button is all about. Uh, moving from the right there, I'll 
I'll bring up the other slide again. Um, <clears throat> we have these um, these FADEC buttons. So um, first of all, uh, what does FADEC even stand for? Um, it stands for Full Authority Digital Electronic Control. So um, on the engine, or uh, most modern jet engines anyway for that matter, um, they basically have this, this you know, really big and important um, computer uh, called a FADEC that controls a lot of different parameters about how this engine operates. So kind of think of this as like the, it's really kind of like the, the brain of the engine, if you will. It's just this uh, unit right here on the uh, CFM 56 um, engine here. That's, that's the same thing we have in the Airbus. 737 has the same engine on it. Uh, but anyways, this FADEC here, it, it, it just, like I said, it, it, it controls all sorts of parameters. It meters fuel, it uh, you know tracks various uh, you know temperatures and all this kind of stuff uh, about how this, this engine is operating. So um, that's what we're talking about when we talk about the FADEC. And um, coming back to those buttons uh, back up there, um, you have these guarded switches. Once again, we talked about that last time we were up here. Um, just they're guarded, so you don't kind of inadvertently or accidentally, you know, hit these switches without um, fully intending to. Uh, but basically, um, <clears throat> normally when you're on the ground, uh, the FADEX will only get powered when you try to start the the uh, or, or begin the engine start sequence, if you will. So if there was some reason that mechanics were doing work on the FADEX and they, they just wanted to power up the FADEX or the computer portion of the system there without you know trying to um, you know start the engine up, uh, this is a way that they can just send power to the FADEX and get that to happen without the whole engine start sequence beginning. So um, that's all these buttons are here for. Once again, to provide power to the FADEX um, for maintenance purposes for whatever reason. Uh, when you're on the ground, so um, that wraps up the discussion of the uh, the, the maintenance panel in the upper overhead here, and uh, we're we're gonna have uh, one little uh, area to talk about the next time down here, and uh, that'll wrap it up uh, for the upper overhead, and uh, promise you things will uh, hopefully get a little more exciting, uh, not be so dry uh, for you as we, we continue to move down um, the other uh, portions of the, uh, the aircraft panels here. So. Uh, thanks again for joining me. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. All right.